PC plot here. Uh, gonna do uh, stitch together some videos of Star Citizen for my Exo Buds. I uh, thought it'd be good coming from the point of view of somebody who's played Xbox and uh, Space Sim. So we'll start off here. This first one, I think, what we'll do is just a simple package mission. That way, we can look at how easy it is uh, with just a starter ship to go make a little bit of money, have some fun, and and actually, with the persistence that's coming with these next few patches, be able to. Uh, make enough money in-game to buy some ships and buy vehicles and things like that without having to spend a bunch of money. Or you can spend a bunch of money and do that too. Either way. Don't be a hater. Uh, we are actually waking up inside the ship. Uh, I had made a video <laughs> excuse me, earlier uh, that I didn't like because I was sniffling too much. It sounded like uh, I was falling apart. The allergies are pretty bad. But this is the Aurora MR. It's just it's not the starter ship. I think the LN is a starter ship. But I think for just a, like ten dollars more, you can get this ship, and it's got this, which is super important. It's it's a, an area where you can log out in the ship. The power's not on the ship since I logged out here. I'm gonna try not to sniffle too much, but if I do, just uh, let me know in the comments, and I'm sure I'll figure out how to stop doing that. Let's power up. Here's our exterior view ship. What's great about this starter ship, as opposed to like the Mustang, which is actually a better fighter, is that this one can do a little bit more in that you have space behind the, ch the chair here, right in front of that bed I showed you, to put a box. And boxes uh, next to um, some little missions that'll pop up here and there. Box mission deliveries is probably the fastest way to make money in the beginning next to bounties, which you're going to need a little more. Probably need to upgrade the ship a little bit to do bounties, unless they're small bounties. And let's take a look at this little deal right here. This tells us what is available in the area. That's a bounty. It's probably going to be uh, quite a ways away. These small ships don't quad them that well, which is uh, meaning, meaning like a light jump. Uh, FTL drive, and so uh, unless you're willing to spend a f about eight minutes in the ship going to Delamar, which is the, where that bounty will be, probably not the best. Now here's some deliveries. Uh, these are these are these these lower paying ones are not bad because you can stack them, which I'm not going to do now. But I'm just going to show you a basic delivery, and you can stack a few of them, and some of them go to the same place, or you could deliver and pack up from the same place and if you have cargo ability in your ship which there's another ship I can show you which is uh, also uh, equivalent to this one actually it's better and it, it it's also relatively inexpensive to get started as a starter package about I think it's about 65 or 70 dollars which is about the price of any regular game uh, you'll have car more cargo space even now yellow is right there, as you can see, right here, yellow, and you're taking it to yellow, so it's in the same area. But that's, I kind of want to do one that shows you, going over here, here's one from an outpost, or from a uh, rest stop, back to yellow, let's do that one. Let's see how far CRU L5 is before we pick it up. See, L5 is way out here. And then we're going to have to come all the way back. This little ship, not the best idea. Okay, well, we'll just do this first one here. Accept the offer. It'll give us a marker. And there's our marker. Now right now we're we are 
orbiting Daymar, which is a great ship, has a, a somewhat of a gravity and an atmosphere, and it's really good for like vehicle races and there are also some package deliveries and stuff there you can pick up. It's also fun to fly in the atmosphere of that planet. Now we're s they're spooling up a quantum drive to get into the orbit of yellow. Once we get there, we'll be able to quantum down to the surface and pick up this package. Good view out of this ship, too. Like I said, not a bad starter ship. And you can do a thing called CCU, which is... Uh, cross chassis upgrade so if you buy this ship and you don't like it that much you can upgrade it to a different one using the credit you have in store with this one so it's not that bad really now we can quantum to this spot the servers have been really stable um, lately, we're getting a lot more persistence. Uh, there hasn't been a wipe, which means a wipe is when they take everything out of your uh, that you've bought in game with in game money. Um, they wipe that because they want to start with fresh servers when they do these huge patches. It's not that big a deal; it gives you something to work for. It's kind of fun. I don't, it doesn't bother me that much. Now, as you can see, this planet doesn't have much of an atmosphere, so we're able to really crank up the speed here, but you've got to be really careful because in the larger ships, uh, it's really hard to slow them down, and the gravity will suck you in. It's doing 710 meters per second. Pretty good clip. Now that's another, another player down there. They're green, which means they don't have a bounty. So we probably won't have to worry about them, but you never know. And you don't have to land on these landing pads if you don't want. The only thing they'll give you on the landing pads is occasionally they'll give you some ammo refills. I haven't been able to get fuel here, but fuel's really not an issue with these little ships too much, and you're just snipping around. He's in a fighter, so I don't... probably just spawn in a vehicle or something down here. You can't do any package missions here. Landing gear deployed. Landing complete. Now, when you hear landing complete, you know you're down. Engines are off. I turned the engines off, uh, only because I don't want the ship jumping around on me. It hasn't done that in this patch, but just a good precaution to take. You do have to have a helmet on here, or you will suffocate. You can go third person if you want, spin around. Now that's a Gladius. It's probably one of the better small fighters in the game. Now if we had SCU, we can check to see if we have any. Now the ship we have doesn't have any cargo space or it would show up there. Cargo meaning actual cargo you can buy now. packages we can. That's why I like this starter ship over the Mustang, because you do have some space behind the seat to place a package. Now, if this guy wanted to, he could... I don't think he even has his landing gear down, so he's a moron. He could come out and shoot us or do something stupid. He'll end up with a crime stat. So you don't have to worry about that too. There's not a lot of griefing going on in this game, like in Elite, uh, just because it's it's a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. 
Now if you'll notice, right here in front of our bed, we've got some space. And we can place a package here. And there's even maybe room for another one if we wanted to. Okay. Easy enough. Engine's Engine back on. See that we're going to be bringing this back to yellow, so we can set our route to yellow. Sometimes we're not in the right position to set route, so we can set it to a comma ray, which gets us close. And then reset it to yellow. Bottom drive is now on. There's a will, there's a way. Bottom drive. So that's just a comma ray. drop-off. Let's go and set it. There we go. Pretty easy. Pretty fun. Uh, just the mechanics of landing, taking off from planets. Different outposts. Really cool. Here we are at yellow. Bottom line is now off. And you can actually set this waypoint. Actually go spawn straight. Actually jump straight to it. Now, if you're trying to find something, you can't actually go straight to a waypoint like this, but we've got a preset destination, so we're able to go down here and drop it straight off. I'm sorry if you're hearing me breathe or whatever. This mic's not the best, but it works with what you got. Yellow is another planet that doesn't have uh, an atmosphere really to speak of, so we can actually really, really punch it over here to this station outpost. There is an in game chat which shows up on the left, uh, which is kind of handy. You need to ask questions or talk to people or whatever just through text. And you can actually go in to this screen here select different channels to talk to people, look for other friends that are on the game, etc. And it's, it's relatively intuitive. That's why I like uh, talking to people who play Elite Dangerous, because technically you guys are pretty savvy, so we'll figure this out pretty quick. The 
flight model right now is pretty simple. Uh, you don't have to worry about being tall or anything like that. Vertical takeoff and landing. And there are some ships that have a VTOL uh, function, which makes it easier to land in the bigger ships. Basically reduces your lateral motion, so you don't end up smacking into something. Landing complete. Here we go. Landing complete. Engines are off. Now we'll hop out of the chair. Grab our package. Get out of here. Now this ship automatically locks. It's a good thing. Uh, I wonder if I can steal your ship. Uh, some of the other ships you actually have to shut the uh, cargo hatch. We'll, we'll show you that later. Airlock. Most of these have airlocks. Now the aid stations don't have a uh, those little Covalex boxes that you can drop things off in. They usually have to place it in a space that's provided here. And there. You just made some money. If we were doing multiple boxes, we could actually um, stack these. successfully completed. I hope this uh, kind of gives you an idea of a, a real basic package run and how you can make some money, have some fun, and, and kind of see the game. Uh, there's a free fly event which ends, I think, what is today, the 4th? It may end. It's still going right now, so you can still play for free. Uh, and then uh, that ends, and then you, or you can pick up a starter package. Let's log off in the bed. There you go. That's a good thing about this MR is that uh, you can we can save our our uh, space, save our uh, game here instead of having to go back to a station. Hope you enjoyed.